uh, see, they were a real danger to our, our nation. So uh, it, it may be that the debate will change, <laughs> but whether they will concede uh, their point, I don't know. Um, some Turkish journalists have already used the book uh, for uh, recently there was a cave uh, found with a mass murder uh, where the villagers nearby said, yes, these were Armenians from 1915. Uh, and we found many other caves like that. Uh, and we managed uh, to locate or identify three or four different uh, possible uh, uh, deportation caravans or places where the, these people can have come from and in some cases a few of the names of the, pe the, the people who could have been found there uh, but uh, just during the weekend the Turkish military covered this uh, cave with earth uh, <laughs> But uh, if only we scientists can get access to that place, we're used to digging things up <laughs> again <laughs> anyway. So it may not be uh, 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 the smartest move that the military has done. But, but in that way, they have used the book already. Uh, but, but it's not really a comment or a review on it. No? Dr. Goff, this was a remarkable lecture, and I really thank you for, for presenting it to us. I wanted to just add three, three comments mm -hmm. that you may find useful. First of all, in Iran, there is a very limited but a process of publishing archives from 1915. These are done selectively right now, and I don't think they're terribly trustworthy, but at least they're in print and are mm -hmm. available and can be used, at least can be referenced. Super. And and I'll be happy to give you that, that reference. The second is that this, um, you spoke about uh, Iyas, who, is, who was a, uh, at Sawish Bulag, which became Mahabad later. I just published an article on, on the missionaries in Sawish Bulag so, uh, and their relationship with the Kurds. So that might be useful. But you, I just wanted to draw attention to those of you who, have, who want to visit London, or maybe we, we just missed it, but there was a major exhibit of Iyas's photographs sponsored by the Iran Heritage Foundation that took place in London. And there's a book with, with that, too, that I think could also shed some more light on, um, on this man's work. Uh, and he, uh, the finding of, of this material on his person after he was beheaded in, the, in 1914, um, in fact, it included this, these massive photographs that he had taken as well. And the, uh, the last thing I wanted to, talk, uh, to mention is that in the case of the Assyrians uh, and the Armenians in, uh, in northwest Iran, we know that there were volunteers from far, as far away as Isfahan, the Armenian community in Isfahan, who came up to northwest Iran in order to participate in the resistance. Oh. Yes, you. Yeah, um, great speech, uh, by the way, like that. But just a quick uh, remark, or a question, actually. The Kurds in uh, Turkey and Iran and all those areas, what role, if any, did they play in all of these massacres? And, that, and also follow up, like, if Turkey ever does uh, admit to the genocide uh, to get into the European Union, will it bear any consequences on the role that the Kurds played? Uh, mm -hmm. with them. Just, uh... Okay, that's a good question. Um, uh, uh, as far as the Kurds are concerned, it's very, very uh, complicated. Um, now, in the area of Turabdin, in, in the Arbikir uh, Vilayet, uh, we have examples of Kurdish tribes who protect um, the, the Christians. Uh, the, uh, among others, uh, Chalebe Aga, uh, Sarohan or Sarokano of the Habakan Confederation uh, do this sort of throughout. Then we have a number who begin to protect Christians mm -hmm. and who are convinced by the local government to turn 
Uh, and so uh, oral testimony is filled with the deceit of the Kurdish tribes, but it's obvious that they had intended to protect them, uh, but that they had been forced later on. Um, we have the famous case of the Chaldean bishop of uh, Sayyid, uh, uh, who is smuggled out of Sayyid during the massacres by Kurds, disguised as a Kurd, and is found by the Turkish troops two or three weeks later um, in a house of another Kurdish Aga, and uh, both uh, Sher and the Kurdish Aga are executed. Um, th there is also a telegram from Talat saying that if there are Muslims who protect Christians, they can face prosecution and severe consequences. Um, however, there do seem to be a, a great number of Kurds who participate of their own free will. And it does seem that in many areas this jihad type of uh, uh, propaganda does go home, uh, especially in Iran, where we can see that it has been spread and even printed and put up on uh, everywhere. Um, and uh, we're talking of people with a very low rate of literacy and who are being told that this is a holy matter. Um.